It is Israel's missile defense system, a multi-billion dollar piece of technology that protects millions of Israelis. Iron Dome system, which kicks in most but not all the time. Israel's Iron Dome is one of the most advanced and effective missile defense systems in the world. It can intercept and destroy rockets from militants, saving countless civilian lives and preventing damage to infrastructure. But the Iron Dome also comes with a hefty price tag for safety. The Israeli government can sometimes spend over a million dollars daily firing and intercepting rockets, and this system is one of the main reasons the U.S. has sent over $2.9 billion to the Iron Dome program. The cost the cost of the rockets is significant, but that is just the start. The system requires constant maintenance and upgrading to cope with the evolving threats and tactics of its adversaries. Join us as we discuss the economics of Israel's Iron Dome system. The Iron Dome air defense system is considered one of the best in the world for countering missiles and rockets. The system was developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, Raytheon, and Israel Aerospace Industries with financial and technical support from the United States. Before we get into the details, it's important to understand how it actually works. An air defense system has three main parts. First, there are radars that detect, identify, and track incoming missiles. These radars have different ranges. Iron Dome's radar can affect cover distances from 4 to 70 kilometers, as reported by its manufacturer, Raytheon. When a radar detects an object, it needs to figure out if it's a threat. Information like its direction and speed is used for this determination. If an object is confirmed as a threat, Iron Dome operators continue tracking it with radar. Missiles can travel at various speeds, but assuming a representative speed of 1 kilometer per second, the defense system has a maximum of 1 minute to respond to an attack. The second part of the system is the command and control system which analyzes the data from the radar and calculates the optimal interception point for each incoming missile. The center also determines which of the available launchers should fire an interceptor missile based on factors such as location, availability, and battery life. The third part of the system is the launcher, which fires an interceptor missile at the incoming threat. Each launcher can hold up to 20 missiles, which are 3 meters long and weigh 90 kilograms each. The interceptor missiles are highly maneuverable and have a proximity fuse that detonates them near the target, destroying it in midair. The Iron Dome system is designed to intercept and destroy short-range rockets and artillery shells fired from distances from 4 to 70 kilometers away and whose trajectory would take them to an Israeli-populated area. The system boasts a high success rate of over 90 percent, according to Israeli officials. The system has been deployed since 2011 and has intercepted over 1,200 rockets since then. The system is also highly mobile and can be set up in a few hours. The Iron Dome system is one of the most advanced and effective air defense systems in the world, and it has saved countless civilian lives in Israel from rocket attacks. The system is also a testament to Israel's technological innovation and military prowess in the face of constant security threats. However, it is incredibly expensive to run. Israel operates at least 10 Iron Dome systems, each containing 60 to 80 interceptor missiles. Each of these missiles cost about $60,000. In previous attacks, with fewer missiles and rockets, the Iron Dome was 90% effective at countering threats. The system uses sophisticated radars and algorithms to detect and intercept incoming projectiles before they reach populated areas. However, during the October 7th assault by Hamas, the Iron Dome was less effective. The issue was the sheer number of incoming threats. Hamas fired several thousand missiles, but Israel had fewer than a thousand interceptors ready to stop them. Even if the Iron Dome worked perfectly, the large number of Hamas missiles meant that some would still get through. The system was designed to handle a maximum of 64 simultaneous threats, but Hamas launched more than 100 rockets in a single volley. This situation highlights that even the best air defense systems can be overwhelmed when faced with an excessive number of threats. The missiles fired by Hamas were much cheaper, about $600 each, making them around 100 times less expensive than the Iron Dome interceptors. The total cost of firing all of Israel's interceptors was approximately 48 $8 million. If Hamas fired 5,000 missiles, the cost would be only $3 million. In essence, Hamas used a strategy of accumulating a large number of relatively inexpensive missiles over time, knowing they would overpower the Iron Dome's defense capabilities. Unfortunately for Israel, this attack demonstrates military asymmetry. A low-cost, less advanced approach was able to defeat a more expensive, high-tech system. Of course, we can't put a price on human life, but the Israeli government
government is well aware of the economic burden of relying on the Iron Dome, and therefore, it is seeking to develop more affordable and efficient alternatives for rocket and missile defense. One of these alternatives is based on laser technology, which has the potential to offer a faster, cheaper, and more precise way of intercepting incoming projectiles. While this technology is not yet ready to replace the Iron Dome completely, it represents a promising direction for the future of aerial defense. There are two main laser-based systems that are currently being developed by Israeli companies. The first one is a prototype laser cannon that can shoot down mortar shells and similar short-range threats. This system is being developed by the Israel Aerospace Industries IAI, which claims that it has already conducted successful experiments with this prototype. The laser cannon uses a high-energy beam to heat up and destroy the target in midair. The second system is called the Iron Beam, and it was designed by Raphael, the same company that developed the Iron Dome. The Iron Beam is intended to complement the Iron Dome by addressing the challenge of intercepting projectiles that are fired from very close distances, such as within five miles of the Israeli border. These projectiles have a shorter flight time, which makes them harder to detect and intercept by the Iron Dome. The Iron Beam uses a low-energy laser to vaporize the target before it reaches its destination. Both of these systems are still in the testing and development phase. And they have not yet been deployed in the field. However, they demonstrate the potential of laser technology to enhance Israel's defense capabilities and reduce its dependence on expensive interceptor missiles. Laser technology is a promising alternative for defending against rockets and missiles as it offers several advantages over conventional missile-based systems. One of the main advantages, according to the Israel Aerospace Industry IAI, is the speed and accuracy of laser-based systems, which make them suitable for dealing with short-range threats such as mortars. These types of munitions have a shorter flight time and are harder to intercept by missile systems such as the Iron Dome. Another advantage of laser technology is the cost effectiveness and sustainability of using laser beams instead of missiles. According to IAI, firing a laser beam for interception costs around $2,000, while launching an Iron Dome interception missile can range between $40,000 and $80,000. This means that laser systems can provide a much cheaper and more efficient way of protecting against rocket and missile attacks, especially when they're launched in numbers and in rapid succession. The issue of cost is becoming more and more relevant as Israel faces increasing threats from its enemies who possess larger arsenals of rockets and missiles. For example, in May of 2019, Hamas launched 460 rockets into Israel in a span of two days, some of them in volleys of 30 to 40 rockets at a time. The Iron Dome system managed to intercept most of them, but at a high price. The Israeli government had to allocate an additional $1.5 billion to replenish the Iron Dome stockpile of missiles. Such attacks can quickly drain Israel's resources and pose a serious challenge to its security. According to some estimates, to intercept full-capacity rocket attacks from Gaza or other enemies, the IDF will have to fire over 30,000 interceptors from the Iron Dome system, and the astronomical price of this strategy could reach billions of dollars. The Hamas attack will have repercussions for all of the world's major military powers. It clearly illustrates the need for air defense systems that are much more effective in two important ways. First, there is the need for a much deeper arsenal of defensive weapons that can address very large numbers of missile threats. Second, the cost per defensive weapon needs to be reduced significantly. This is why it is very important to develop and deploy laser-based defense systems as soon as possible. A strategy combining both systems could eradicate all low-level rocket threats, such as mortars and short-range rockets, that pose a constant danger to the citizens of South Israel. By using laser systems to deal with these threats, the Iron Dome system could focus on intercepting longer-range rockets and missiles that require more advanced detection and interception capabilities. This way, the Iron Dome system could conserve its resources and extend its coverage. Moreover, using laser systems to protect its borders, Israel could reduce the need for costly full-scale offensive operations against Gaza or other sources of rocket attacks. A senior Israeli source said it was a mistake to stop the development of a laser-based rocket interceptor in the past due to budget constraints and technical challenges. Now, there is a growing number of experts that understand the mistake that was made and are, therefore, ready to restart the development with the more advanced building blocks available today, the source said. The source added that laser technology is not only a matter of saving money, but also a matter of saving lives. Laser systems can provide a more effective and reliable way of defending our people and our land from rocket attacks, the source said. One of the earliest attempts to develop a laser-based system 
system for rocket defense was the Nautilus project, which was a joint effort between Israel and the United States in 1996. The Nautilus, officially known as Tactical High Energy Laser, or THEL, was designed to eliminate rockets fired by Hezbollah from Lebanon. The system used a deuterium fluoride chemical laser to generate a high energy beam that could destroy the target in midair. The Nautilus project showed some promising results when it successfully shot down 28 Katyusha artillery rockets and five artillery shells in a 2000 test. However, despite these relative successes, the project was discontinued in 2005 due to several reasons. First, the system was bulky, heavy, and expensive to operate and maintain. Second, the system had limited mobility and range and required a clear line of sight to the target. Third, the system faced environmental and legal issues as the chemical laser produced toxic byproducts and posed a risk to collateral damage. More recently, there's been a renewed effort to develop laser systems for countering various aerial threats, especially drones and unmanned aerial vehicles that have become more prevalent and sophisticated. One of the examples of this effort is the Raphael Drone Dome system, which was unveiled in 2016. According to the Israeli company, the Drone Dome offers 360-degree circular coverage and can detect, track, and neutralize drones using a low-intensity laser beam. The Drone Dome system is based on a solid-state laser technology, which is more compact, efficient, and safer than the chemical laser technology used by Nautilus. The system can operate in all weather conditions and can engage multiple targets simultaneously. The system can also be integrated with other sensors and systems to provide a comprehensive defense solution. A spokesperson from Raphael confirmed that the company is actively working on defense systems based on laser technology, with a drone dome serving as an example of this effort. The spokesperson also said that the company is developing other laser systems for different scenarios and threats, such as rockets and missiles. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section below.